think it was more like skunk fish. It is got quite a look. Um, a look. A bit of a smell. You can put it out on a plate if you want to for me. So I'm doing a quick marinade um, that I found online from, it was a Caribbean uh, site. So it's got garlic, um, green onion, red pepper, lemon juice, half of the lemon lemon juice and just regular plain olive oil because we don't want the EDLO to burn on the grill because it's going to go in hot. So and we don't need any salt and pepper because we have red pepper flakes and instead of salt we're going to use the acid from the lemon. So that should be good. And then add some parsley. Well that's coming out very easily. And then I'm going to cut up half of a lemon and put that in there as well. You guys want to see the monkfish? Monkfish. It, it, it's kind of ugly. I'm it's, not gonna lie. It's rather ugly. It's kind of ugly. Um, but you know, we promised to try new things, and that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> More to cut. Oh boy, it does have a, a very strong not, smell. Not as bad as cod, but still fishy very strong smell and to the marinade I'm just gonna add a tomato and then I'll pour it on that's it Got to go and uh, start, the grill. start the grill because last night I cooked and the weatherman was right for once and it rained right after I finished cooking so now the grill's soaking wet so I got to get some of that water off we'll be right back okay so the recipe called for him to take the fillet as they like to say I like to call it a fillet and he said he just opened it up so got my new fillet knife that I got for Christmas looking at the best way to do it. I'm thinking it's just gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna go for right along here. And just see if I can open that up. Sounds like Bear wants some fish. <laughs> and you can hear the cats all wanting the fish. Guys, you gotta wait. I'm trying to be very careful here. Just open this up a little bit without going all the way through it. You want a piece of fish? All right. They're Smell not fish. at all spoiled. Let's see, works out. Oh, 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 oh. So, let's see. It still needs to be opened up just a little bit more. I'm trying to be careful because this knife is very sharp. My knife skills are not what they should be yet, but I will get there, I promise you. So, just pulling this back as I cut into it a little bit, a little bit at a time. Oh, you can hear Bobby play in the background. <laughs> yeah, it gives us inspiration as we cook, you know? What do you say, Anna? I think that's good. I do too. I mean, it'll I start, tighten up really fast on the grill. If but... I start going down too much, then... Yep. And now let's just... We'll just split the marinade and do half... That's chewy. I'm trying to sneak a piece for the kitties. He wants another piece. All right, the grill's warming up, so we'll be back.
looks good. Looks good. Okay, so the monkfish is getting ready to go on the grill. I've got the heat up to about, oh, almost 500. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the griddle tonight. We're not gonna put it on the grate so we don't lose it. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray this, spray it down, just to make sure that we don't get any sticking. And all I sprayed it with was some canola oil. I'm gonna wait for that to come up just a little bit more to temp. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the monkfish on. So just be patient for a second. And we'll start to see what happens. The wind is gonna start blowing because that is what's gonna start to happen. And tip my camera over. So here we go. So we're now up to about 500 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this on. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put this piece of monkfish on for three minutes. There we go. Beautiful. Close this down. We're gonna come back in three minutes and we're gonna turn it over. Okay. So we were at the three minute mark. Go ahead and uh, try my best at uh, a little, little flip. There go. Start to tighten up really nice here. Go a little bit on the soft side. Go ahead and put the rest of this stuff that we have on the pan. Put that on top of it. That's the deliciousness right there. No reason to waste any of that. Take my heat up. Think just a little bit more here. Can't be scared of heat. Just gotta pay attention. So we're gonna set for another three minutes. I'll come back. We're at two minutes. Let's give a little check. See how we're doing. I know that we're supposed to be looking for a little bit of firmness. Back to the really hot part of the griddle. Keep it cooking. It's not going to flake up like they say. All right, here we are back at three minutes. Let's take a look at this. It's looking really good. But I think I'm going to, since we don't have it as like a direct flame, I think I'm going to give it one more little flip on it. Really just let, let it kind of set up a little bit. You can see it's starting to get a nice little solidness to it. I might even change gears and put it on the flame, but we're going to see what happens. We'll come back. All right, we're back. I'm going to change gears a little bit. I'm going to test this and see where we are. I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to take this. Let's see how firm we are. We're pretty firm. I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it to the open grates. Flip it over. I'll take some of this goodness. Kind of leave it up here. I'll take this off. Kind of put it on the plate. We can serve that up afterwards. Set it there on the flame for a minute. Let some of that hot flame get to it. I mean, it's looking good. You know, there's no doubt in my mind. It's starting to look good. Um, but definitely have to get a little more. It's just kind of set up a little bit more. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It just seems a little getting there it's just a little squishy so i'm gonna have to be careful with it as i 
flip it around have a little bit more control over it but I think I'm, what I might do is just leave the grill open and mess with it this way okay. can't hurt right everything's an experiment Bobby always says you know when fish is ready because it starts to let go just not sure about this one Go ahead and see if I can get it a roll. Not so bad. I'm leaving a little bit of tomato behind, but not, not too bad. Too bad. Uh, sit here and let it let it cook for a second. Try not to mess with it too much. We can zoom in on that so you guys can see where it's setting up. I think we're gonna be good. All right, so she's coming off. I'm not worried about that over there. I think the smart move was to come over and kind of finish it off on the flames. I'm going to come back here like the hibachi and kind of clean it up and set it up for the next time. So I'm going to bring this in. You know it's going to continue to cook a little bit. Stuff off the grate. You know it's going to continue to still cook, so I'll come back and give you guys the, the final picture. <laughs>